hello everyone today in this video we will be discussing the module 3 of big data you know big data that subject itself is a very boring subject and uh, so many concepts are there which are to remember so there is no point just uh, reading the points so uh, the final goal what we have in our mind is remembering the points and writing them in the exam script and getting marks right beyond that do we have any interest in understanding the concepts what it is nothing right if you want we can just research on our own take some online courses and study okay so since this is the main goal i'll be focusing on this only okay because there is just remembering things and there is nothing to explain what it means okay so i'll tell you three things in this video i'll be discussing some questions like there are totally seven topics okay so um <clears throat> bit by bit i will be covering each topic and in each topic i'll be telling you what are the super important questions which has been appeared most of the times in exam and i'll be telling you how to write those and remember those uh, questions okay for the rest of the questions i'll be touching slightly on uh, them okay and um I'll be discussing uh, all the questions and the answers and whatever the concepts are there in the form of a story. Okay, so that if you read that particular question, that um, that story at that moment will come in your mind and you have to relate it to that and remember the key points. Okay, so that's uh, one another thing. And there are some things which I'll be going to discuss which uh, you don't want the people around you to hear. So make sure you hear uh, wear the headphones before starting this video. Okay. It's easier to remember the concepts, especially when they are not of interest, when we connect it to those topics. Fine. So let's get started. Um, I'll give you a brief overview of uh, what is the module about. So there are totally how many topics? Seven topics are there. Okay, uh, before starting, if you like this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Your support helps me make more videos like this. Okay. And if you have got any doubt, ping me on Instagram. Fine. Now let's uh, discuss on this. <clears throat> there are totally seven topics. Okay. And the seven topics have been uh, means if we compress these seven topics, it will be in um, sitting in these three topics. Okay. No SQL, MongoDB and Cassandra. These are the big data types and this is a new data type for us. Okay. And <clears throat> Out of the seven topics, four topics are related to this one. Two topics are related to this one means these are two topics, obviously. And one topic is related to the introduction. OK, so um, in this video, I'll be discussing the no SQLs one topic from that four topics. I'll discuss one of those topic and introduction. OK, so totally two topics I'll discuss. And in these two topics, if you see combined, there is one super important question. OK. The total com uh, combined, I guess, four or five questions are there. Among that, one super important question is there. So listen carefully to the explanation. Okay. So first is the introduction. Second is the NoSQL data store. Okay. In this, the, the three subtopics are there, and the super important question lies in this topic. Okay. And after that, um, these topics are there. I haven't gone through it as of now, but uh, in the upcoming videos, uh, you'll be able to. Uh, means I'll discuss that uh, what is important in these topics and all. So as of now, let's just uh, restrict us, uh, restrict ourselves with uh, these two topics. Okay. So let's get uh, started with these two topics. <coughs> Okay, these three topics are there in the whole module. We are uh, currently focusing on uh, NoSQL. Before NoSQL, you need to have a slight introduction. So, in the introduction, the first uh, question is, what are the features of this? See, whatever the questions I'm discussing, right? If you study that much only, it's more than sufficient for you to score nice marks. Okay, not nice, awesome marks you can score. Okay, so uh, these are the questions. Okay, what are the features of distributed computing architecture? Okay, you have one headphones, right? Nice. Now see when you read uh, re read this question, a distributed computing architecture. Okay, this is not super important question. If there is super important, you can see a star above it. Okay, okay, and uh, so you can if you want, you can skip this one, or else uh, also you can hear your wish. So uh, distributed computing. Uh, when you hear the word distributed computing architecture, what you have to uh, remember is what does distributed mean? There is a large ground. Okay, forget everything what you know regarding the big data. Just listen to the story and keep it in your mind if you want marks. Distributed means what? There will be lot of distributed things here. Okay. And uh, in these uh, distributed things, there are uh, many couples in it. Okay, it means each of these distributed things has one couple. Okay, and there is some conversation going on in between that couple. Okay, so what is that conversation? You have to remember one keyword. 
okay you got you got to know right how i can uh, means connected this with this one distributed means there are many couples and uh, in a big piece of uh, land and they are doing one conversation that conversation has a keyword okay what is that keyword is if she says six readily open pants okay you have to remember just this one now uh, note down the letters if i f she says six or oh, readily open pants if you remember this much if the question comes you can easily get the key points okay now i means what increased reliability and fault tolerance in distributed computing it is very reliable why because the uh, resources are distributed in different parts of the system so if one of those system gets failed the other resources will come into rescue and fault tolerance means if this has some fault that will not be considered other two have the correct answer so that will be considered so i you have to remember this one increased reliability and fault tolerance next is f flexibility okay flexibility means if some of the this this is related to the same concept only if this has uh, failed the, it is flexible enough to accommodate these two Sh and sharding sharding means again distributing the pieces of course in different parts of the system speed it is speed because there are different parts of the system has the same code you can retrieve it very fastly scalability this is distributed so many different places it can be accessed R is resources. Resources means there are a lot of resources involved in this one. That is one of the features. And the next one, I'm not. Um, if I just go scroll down, these things will go. So O is nothing but open uh, system, and P means performance. Open system means it is accessible to everyone, like open source. And P means performance. That you already know. It is good in performance since there are parallelly uh, happening. Okay. Remember this keyword. That will be helpful for you. And by the way, this is not six. If you know what I mean. Fine. Let's move on to the next question, which is regarding the NoSQL um, topics. So in NoSQL, there are four topics, data store, architecture patterns, managing big data, and shard nothing architecture. Super important questions from all of these four topics. So listen carefully. In data store, how we will use NoSQL data to store? Okay, see SQL data has the uh, tables and rows and columns, right? But in the NoSQL data, we don't have this kind of architecture. What we instead have is a blank space. Okay, in that blank space, it's very flexible. We can write uh, whatever the data we want. We can store images and videos, audios, document, PDF, and uh, paint, everything we can store in that. Okay, it's a, just a blank space. Okay, so what are its features and how the data store is um, inbuilt? That is what is discussed in the data store. So in this video, we will be discussing discussing about the data store okay afterwards we'll move on to each of these one by one <clears throat> in data store how many questions are there three questions are there okay in these three the third uh, third one is the super important one so let's have a look uh, for each one by one okay the first thing you need to know in the no sql data store is the no sql uses cap theorem what is cap cap is consistency availability and partition consistency means what all the nodes observe the same data see when you have performed one transaction it will be sent to all the nodes okay so all the nodes will have copies this much if you remember Remember, cap theorem is cakewalk for you. Cap theorem is nothing but if you do a transaction, that will be replicated and copied to different nodes. Okay, and consistency means what? All the nodes will have same data. That is consistency. If this has a different data, this is inconsistent, right? <clears throat> so that's what the consistency is. And we have availability means this is available here, 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 everywhere it is available. Partition means what? Even if you partition it in different parts, each of will, uh, them will have same data. Right. Even if one fails after the partition, the others will be able to rescue it. Right. That's what uh, about the partition. Cap theorem is just that. And uh, this was about the uh, first question. Let's move on to the next one, which is explain schema less model and mention its characteristics. So schema less again, a story is there via your headphones schema. Just replace this schema word with pad. Just uh, assume that schema is a company which produces pads. OK, so all you have to remember is pad and less is already there so just write less okay schema is what it's a pad company okay <clears throat> now uh, what is this full form that you will be uh, seeing p a d l e s okay p means previous a means automatically d means data definition l means logical e and s i'll show you after this one okay <clears throat> so uh, once you have got the keywords you can easily write now i'll be explaining you what it means schema less means what there is no schema schema means it will show you what are the data types present and what are the data um, which you can add all those rules and definitions of the table will be given but in the schema less model there will be nothing given as of uh, as of such okay we'll be um, writing whatever we want it is very flexible okay requires the so these are the characteristics requires no previous knowledge of data okay 
this is self explanatory automatically determines and uses metadata metadata means what data about the data it automatically determines and requires data definition language it uses data definition language oh, sorry it does not use okay it uh, requires no data definition language no initial logical data model there is no logical data model as well and les right es means e is ex uh, exceptions and uh, s means statistical exceptions make the rules but still can be used modeling becomes statistical process just if you write this much it will be able to get full marks for this one just mention its characteristics if you want you can write one or two lines even if you don't write it's sufficient for you because characteristics is this much only okay so that was about the second question let's move on to the last question which is the super important one what is no sql data store mention its characteristics okay make sure you don't miss this question <clears throat> and a no sql which is super important question has a sweet a story associated with that even if you have not worn headphones it's um okay now see what is uh, when you hear the word no sql okay no sql just um keep in your mind the full form of no sql no sql means no structured query language there is no structure in that there is no rules in it okay so if there is no rules you can imagine a fluffy boy who is 10 years old he is a fat fluffy boy who is 10 years old and he is uh, caught by the police and the police releases him because he is just a kid okay this much if you remember you can easily answer this question okay what's the story no sql means there is no structured query structured means rules there is no rules uh, there is no rules followed by a fluffy boy who is 10 years old and is caught by the police and the police releases him why because he is a kid okay that much only if you remember you can easily uh, get to know now um, get the code word f l f i j r t p f l means fluffy f i means the continuation of fluffy means f l f i fluffy j r means junior t p means tolerant and uh, police or you can remember thank and police so fluffy junior thanked the police because police released him right that's all what you have to remember for no sql that are uh, its characteristics now let's have a look how it is relevant f l f i j r t p now see f l is what flexible okay no sql is a flexible data language okay so this one uh, you, these are the characteristics this you have to write after writing something about no sql so what is uh, something about no sql is no sql database does not require specialized rdbms it does not use the relational database management system like the tables and all okay it does not use next is the storage can be on cloud unlike this one this has to be in the local system they will be uh, they use flexible and multiple schemas okay they use flexible and multiple schemas unlike the rdbms which has one schema only and no no sql data stores can be considered as semi structured okay now coming to the characteristics what was the uh, keywords let's put it in one screen okay fl fi fluffy junior thank the police okay thank police now see fl means what flexible no sql is a class of non relational uh, database uh, storage system with flexible data model by this keyword you have to be able to write this whole sentence okay flexible next is fi fi means it does not have a fixed schema okay it does not have a fixed schema j is nothing but joins it does not use the concept of join join means what two tables will be there joining those two tables right that concept is not there here okay j for uh, joins r means what data at one node can be replicated to multiple nodes t means what it is fault tolerant okay t for tolerant and p is the last one which is the stored uh, can be partitioned into the unshared unshared uh, unshared shards okay this one i'll be discussing in detail in the upcoming uh, topics so for now just keep in mind partition into unshared shards so p for partition okay so fluffy junior thank the police okay so that was about the characteristics super important question and after that we have features this one if you want you can remember there is a super simple shortcut what is the shortcut see i already told you right no sql follows which um, theorem cap theorem so obviously it will not follow acid properties that's one of the points relaxes one or more of the acid properties means it uh, violates one or more of the acid properties and obviously it's following cap theorem that's the second point characterized by two or uh, two out of three properties consistency availability and partition and obviously the movie was three idiots right 
the three things are there the third one will become sad so it can be characterized by base base is basic availability soft state and e for eventual uh, consistency okay this is another type of like uh, cap uh, acid and base okay so this can be characterized by this as well so that's all make sure you hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this i'll see you in the part two thank you so much for watching